The solid below was made with 30 cubes of the same size. Very carefully, the two pink cubes shown below were removed. All the other remaining cubes stayed exactly where they were. If the surface area of the resulting solid not shown was 100 square inch more than the surface area of the original solid shown in the picture below, determine the volume of the original solid. We're going to solve this problem but before you watch the solution try to solve the problem on your own so let's go over the question briefly we are being told that this solid which has 30 cubes and you can count it the bottom layer has 16 cubes the layer above that has 9 cubes 16 plus 9 is 25 then the next layer up has four cubes, that's 29, and then one more 30. If these cubes were unit cubes, the volume will be 30 units cube. But we don't know if these are unit cubes or not. It's quite likely they are not. So let's see how we can solve the problem. My solution follows, so if you want to try the problem on your own, you want to pause the video right now. So here's the same picture. Now let's try to find out what happens when we remove the pink cubes. Now these two pink squares are a part of the current surface but when we remove this pink cube we miss these two pink squares. They are not a part of the surface area of the entire solid anymore. However, we gain four more faces. One underneath this, uh, right below this square here, I'm going to put a, a little green dot. On the left hand side of this cube, that face will be exposed. And the right hand side of this cube, that face will be exposed. And there is a square right underneath this cube that will be exposed. So when I remove this cube, I'm going to lose two faces, gain four faces. So I will have a net gain of four, uh, sorry, I will have a net gain of two squares. When I remove this pink cube, I'll have a net gain of two squares. In other words, two, two of the squares, two of the new squares will be added to the surface area of the solid. I can argue exactly the same way over here. When I remove this pink cube, I'm going to lose this square from the surface area, this square from the surface area. However, I will gain the... there is a square right below this square. I'm going to gain that there is a square right below this cube that I'm going to be gaining. There is a square on the left hand side of this, uh, right hand side of this cube. I'll be gaining that and the face of the left hand side face of this cube will also be gained. So like before I'm losing two of the squares from the surface area at the same time gaining four so I will have a net gain of two faces or two squares. Of course these are not unit squares so altogether I will have a net gain of four faces. Now if you read the question the surface area of the resulting solid is hundred square units more. If it's hundred square units more then what happens? Well if I get four squares I'm gonna draw my squares like this and that will be blue, so let's make them blue. I'll, I'll be adding four squares to my surface area as, I've, as we have described. Of course they're not going to be clustered like this. So four new squares will be added and a total of 100 square units will be added. So each square has to be 25. 100 divided by 4 is 25. And if that's the case, the length of each side has to be 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. This is 5. Okay, so we concluded that the length, length of each edge is 5 inch. This is 5. What's the volume of each cube? 
The volume of each cube has to be length times width times height in a cube. They're all the same. So the volume of each cube has to be the volume of each cube must be let's do it on the next line must be 5 by 5 by 5 is equal to 125 cubic inch. Okay. All together I have 30 cubes so the volume of the solid the original solid has to be 125 volume of the original solid is equal to there are 30 cubes and each cube has a volume of 125 cubic inch so this has to be we're gonna find out what it is and 125 times 30 is 3750 cubic inch that's my answer 3,750 cubic inch.